hello uh, hi all um, today we are going to discuss about oracle fusion financials and specifically we are going to talk about the receivable module well this is a training uh, video uh, which i'm creating for you guys uh, after watching this video you know you will be able to create ar sales invoices uh, using um, oracle fusion receivable module you will be able to create receipts and you will be able to apply those receipts to the transaction which have been created we will also look at uh, posting to gl and at the end we will look about entering the debit and credit memo if any rectifications are required so in this way we will be able to cover our receivable uh, training session i will be creating a separate video for uh, each of the listed um, uh, areas because uh, if we create one single video for all of these areas it will be a huge file and uh, it would be difficult to upload so in this particular session i am going to cover creation of ar invoices so uh, i will give you a quick overview of the application and quickly moving to our application let's start from here okay as you are all aware that uh, this is our login screen okay you will be provided with a specific username and a password so let me just enter my username and let me enter my password and then i'm going to click on sign in okay so this is the landing page of uh, the fusion application on the left side of the screen you can see the navigator navigator comprises of of, of like uh, all the modules <coughs> which are licensed and which are available you can uh, create the icons from this navigator on your home page for your ease on the right side of the screen you can see home page if you click on home page you will be able to see all these icons these are the favorites uh, you can create your own favorites uh, you can create your own favorite modules or certain notifications this is a watch list for instance if you are working at certain transactions if you are working on certain areas you can create your watch list this is a notification uh, responder if there are any transactions which are pending for approval or have come to you for approval will be displayed over here so getting back to our agenda we are going to cover creation of ar invoices which is known as transactions in receivable module so over here now this is my home screen as you can see that i have receivable module over here i'm going to click on my receivable module and all the transactions are created using billing module so i'm click on billing okay now here this is our landing page for the billing phase over on the left side of the screen you can see that there are zero incomplete transaction and 15 incomplete transaction from 10 days and above right which means like as these are different tile available it's exactly like windows 10 if you have used earlier <clears throat> so it will give you a different analytics of the transactions that you have created and what are the statuses of those transactions over here in the center of the screen you can see all the recently created transactions which have been uploaded or manually created or coming from any other module like as we are already using oracle projects module to uh, for receivable here in ua so this will help us to see all the transactions at a glance right here in the center of the page now if i talk about uh, the receivable transactions now this is known as a panel on the right side of the screen you can see your panel create transactions means that this will help you to create ar invoices credit transaction to pass a debit or credit memo manage transactions this will help you to do any edit or to find any already created transaction manage auto invoice lines now if you are using any other interface programs like as transactions are coming from property management module or project suite module that is going to lie over here approve adjustments if there are certain adjustments which require approval you can click on this particular link and you can approve your desired uh, adjustments so quickly starting with uh, the create transaction things let me click on create transactions okay now this is our transaction window known as the receivable invoice window now the upper part of the uh, of this invoice is known as the header 
and the lower part is known as lines. So let me select my transaction source as manual. Transaction type is already associated with it as an invoice. Transaction date is the date on which you want to enter the transaction. Please note that it cannot be a future uh, dated transaction. Okay, so as of now, this is the test instance and March period is open in my application. So I'm going to create one particular invoice on the month in, in the month of March. And this is the accounting date. You can create a transition any date, but this accounted date precisely describe that which particular day this, this transition will be accounted and will be transferred to our GL. Okay, so now moving a uh, bit ahead, there is a bill to customer name. Now I have a list of customers with me. So I'm going to select one customer. Let's say, let, let me select uh, the bank, National Bank of Kuwait. So let's get more uh, precise to this. Now there is National Bank of Kuwait. So I'm going to select this. Okay, now here on the right side of the screen, you can see the payment terms. You can have multiple payment terms like as 30 days, 30 days net, 45 days immediate. It can be modified and can be created as per new. But please note, whatever you select over here, whatever you select over here will be impacting your aging report. Okay, so usually people just, uh, you know, like, like that select on a payment terms date. But this is very important part. You need to be very focused and you need to be very uh, careful while selecting the payment terms. Okay, now if I go to the invoice lines, I can select the description, let's say, maintenance of scanners. Uh, okay, let's say how many scanners uh, we maintain let's say 65 and the cost of maintaining each scanner is 324 let's say so 21060 is my total amount okay now you can add n number of lines if there are more items than that of 10 you can click on this plus button add row button and you can add more lines over here now going back, I'm going to click on save. So the transaction is saved, but you can still see the status is as incomplete. So here in receivables, we always need to complete our transactions. So I'm going to click on complete and review. So now the transaction has been completed. Please note down this transaction number. This is a this will always be a unique transaction number which will be available. Uh, now here comes the posting part. So what there are two ways of posting the transactions that we'll be covering in our next uh, video. So now we have successfully seen that how to create AR invoices. And my next video will cover creation and application of AR receipts, which means nothing but the payments. And moreover, if you have any image of the invoice associated with your application, you will be able to see uh, the performer invoice right by clicking at view image. Well, this is our test instance, so it could be a bit slow, but uh, on the production instance, you will find really good performance. Now here, this is our uh, invoice format. So, and we have already associated with it. Here you can see balance due amount is 21060. 
here you can see the due date also okay so that's all uh, remaining things we will be covering in our next video thank you